Yay! Okay, now I have sound. <laughs> HappyNaturalWars.com, Lori Broccoloni here, helping you keep your horse healthy and sound. The natural way, that's what I do. How you doing, everybody? So anyways, so I'm on this site. And, um, you know, they put it up here on social media, so... They want to bash me, they can. Um, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm just here to give um, my opinion of, you know, what I think is going on with this horse. And so, um, she's talking about injections. Um, she has a young barrel horse. And um, coffin joints were um, injected because they were sore feet from trim job. Now, why would you do that? <laughs> Stupid. You don't need injections because somebody messed up your feet. You need to um, maybe put some stuff on it to harden the feet or give the horse some homeopathics like arnica or um, mostly arnica. And then maybe some minerals to toughen up the feet like the mini sign um, from Big Sky. And the Big Sky itself, the minerals that they need. So, thank God the horse had clean x-rays, but six months later, does not flex off. Meaning, I guess, um, the horse is not flexing the way that it should. Is it guaranteed the mare will flex the arthritis in the joints as it has been injected? Um, I don't know if the horse would do that, but you have to, first off, you have to figure out you guys, you have to figure out what is going on with your horse, okay? So, if this young horse is already showing signs of arthritis, that means the calcium uh, phosphorus ratio is completely off in the minerals of this horse. So, you have to correct the minerals in the horse for the calcium to balance out. Doesn't that make sense? And you can give apple cider vinegar um, about a quarter cup a day. Um, I would mix it with water to see if, um, you know, and that will help balance out the gut and will help um, balance out the calcium phosphorus in the feed. But if you're feeding any kind of soybean, any kind of beet pop, any kind of crap GMO feed, then... Um, you know, the horse is not getting anything anyway because it's all, the enzymes are out of it and it's really hard to pour the minerals to get into the horse. The horse basically gets its minerals from the grass, they get it from the hay, and that's why we supplement with the Big Sky Minerals. So, um, then the other thing you want to take a look at is you want to take a look at the um, pain points, you know. Um, she's already saying she had a bad uh, farrier. So, you know, change your farrier number one and number two make sure the horse is balanced make sure the pain points are released make sure that the stress points are checked because without the stress point and the pain points and nothing else is you know you can use acupressure you can use all kinds of modalities a laser would work great but you have to know where to put you know the laser and a lot of people you know they don't even know how to find heat in their horses so that's why I use the dowsing rod, um, and that's a video, and I can press, put the link below here. So you could see how you find the pain, and then you can put your laser or do your pain point release and find out and get the mare balanced. I would get the mare balanced, but by injecting it, you're just covering it up. Yeah, you know, well, this is a smart one. Why would, it why would injections cause arthritis? I don't think they would. But the, you know, the body is going to eventually throw them out. And say, why is this joint being disturbed? This is a smart person. Okay. And so, um, lack of cartilage in the joint is usually the cause. So you could use the, ben you can feed the bone fresh, fresh flesh formula from Dr. Christopher to the horse for about two weeks. And that'll help. And, um, and I would definitely give some homeopathics, probably use some essential oils, probably like the um, Arnica, not the Arnica, but um, probably the DDR Prime would help with the um, moisturization. But basically the, the bone flesh formula, that's going to help with the, um, um, the cartilage. 
So, but basically the minerals, putting the right minerals. So, um, anyhow, yeah, this guy's smart. Yep, it means a joint inflammation. It means that the, the, the body's reacting to the calcium phosphorus absorption. And the big sky minerals, what it does is it balances out the right ratio. And if there's too much in of one thing, iron, lead, not iron, lead, iron, calcium, um, phosphorus, whatever. Um, I don't forget the other ones, but there's so many minerals out there. Um, and it's a natural mine mineral. So what happens is that, let's say you get too much um, calcium from your grass and you're feeding the big sky minerals. The big sky minerals, they'll say, okay, this horse has had enough calcium. It has enough phosphorus. It has enough magnesium. It has enough manganese. It has enough um, iron. It has enough um, psyllium. And then what it'll do is whatever's extra in the horse, it'll throw it out, the poop. It just will not put it go into the horse. And so the horse is completely balanced on the big sky minerals. So that's where I would look if you have joint inflammation and there's deep tissue that you can use. There's all kinds of herbal remedies that you can use for that. Um, the x-rays were clear, so the guy obviously didn't read the thing. Um, and for a navicular, you can use apis, a homeopathic apis. Apis, it's the inflammation of the bursa, and that works too. So she's saying there are bone changes. Well, the changing because maybe you're riding the stupid horse, I mean, riding the horse hard, or the horse is imbalanced, okay, and you're causing the inflammation. I would definitely look to the pain points. Definitely look to the pain points. So, anyways, so they go on about the horse injections, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm not putting anybody down, but, uh, um, so. But there's a lot of people that are not educated in the nutritional part side of the horse, and they don't look to that. They looked for an easy fix. And you're not going to get an easy fix, guys. You're just not. You're just masking what's going on really with your horse. So you take away all the grain and just you feed the Stanley hay pellets and, um, and do it that way. Okay? HappyNaturalHorse.com. Hope this helps. And... Um, like I said, um, I'm just here to help you guys out. So look, this is what I'm doing. I'm not a vet. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just a person giving an honest opinion. Okay, I hope this helps. Share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.